Hi, I'm Jane King, and this is New to the Street in person back here at the NASDAQ market site in New York City. The show is all about public, private, and blockchain companies, how the CEOs, the founders, and the innovators bringing you lots of opportunities to consider. Here we go. Vector Biosciences is working toward innovations to assist humankind with research in space. And with me is the CEO, Keishan Franks, to talk about it is exactly what it is you're doing. So tell me about Vector. What kind of research are you doing? Well, at Vector Space Biosciences, first I'd like just to summarize what we talked about during our last interview, which was based on the drug Keytruda. And most people have seen Keytruda commercials. Most people know the drug. It's, work, it's built by Bristol-Myers Squibb. Uh, Merck and Bristol-Myers Squibb have operations in space where they launch drug compounds into space so that they can understand how the proteins crystallize to make them more effective for people based on precision medicine on the ground. Okay, so uh, what we work on today is drug repurposing. So drug repurposing, a, a very good example of that would be the drug Wegovi. Mm -hmm. So most people have also heard of Wegovi. Certainly uh, a lot lately. Yeah, that's yeah. right. <laughs> so Wegovi uh, was a drug for you know weight loss and obesity and things like that. But they found that it would reduce heart attacks and strokes by about twenty percent. And <clears throat> that's an, a, probably one of the best and most recent examples of drug repurposing. There are about seventy four hundred FDA approved drugs. The diff <laughs> the reason you want to focus on drug repurposing is that you can get it fast track in three months instead yeah. of waiting 10 years right, for an right. FDA approved drug. They already know it's safe. Yeah, they know it's safe. They're just right. trying, I guess, to test yeah. the effectiveness right. of it at that point. And then at the same time, you know, <laughs> you, you have companies that can tack on an additional 14.5 billion, like mm -hmm. Novo Nordisk, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to their valuation. Yeah. So, protecting humans and, you know, increasing your valuation at the same what time. What is it about, about space that, um, helps them test the effectiveness of these drugs. So the microgravity in space okay. enables a drug compound or protein to crystallize mm. in a much more uniform fashion so that it can be more effective once that uniform fashion can be brought back yeah. down to the ground. So let's talk about 2024. What kind of projects, things do you have in the pipeline? Well, we've, we have two main things in the pipeline. Number one, getting on the launch calendar, and that takes passing FCC approval and things like that. And then number two. You mean like a rocket launch calendar? Yes. Okay. That kind of, yeah, uh -huh. exactly. And then, of course, launching. Yeah. And then being sponsored by some of our partners. Yeah. Okay. So how can investors get involved? Well, we have a trading vehicle. Uh, that's S-Bio. And that represents the equity. It's a security token. It represents the equity of our company. And then, of course, we have VXV, which controls data set security and data set provenance. Hmm. Because the data set, data sets power all of AI. That's one of the most important things to know. So if, if it's a new attack surface, you have to protect your data set. So we use a, a utility token, VXV, to protect the, basically the pro, what's called provenance and security of the data set. And S-Bio at the same time supports the equity. So we raise a little bit of capital based on mm -hmm. S-Bio, which is traded on LBank. Okay. Right now. So could they go to your website and learn more about these different investment vehicles? Absolutely. It's vectorspacebio.science. Okay. Keishan, thank you so much. Sure thing. Los Magos was formed to create a soto for the land, soul, and community. And the aim is to bring a centuries-old tradition 
to a modern day approach. And with me is the CEO of Los Magos, Ryan Stock, and Colin Jordan, my co-host of New the Streets Moneymakers. And great to have you here, Ryan. And talk yes. about the company, what it is you're doing. Explain Sotol, if I'm even saying it right. <laughs> Tell us what you're doing. You are saying it right, it's Sotol. <laughs> Um, so Toll is both the name of the, the plant as well as the spirit that is made from it, that derives from it. So, so Toll has been around for, uh, for hundreds of years. Frankly, it you know, uh, predates production of many of the Mexican spirits that we're actually familiar with, even though it hasn't, you know, it's not as uh, one that we're familiar with mm -hmm. here in the U.S., but it's been around for a long time. And as far as Los Magos is concerned, you know, we, you know, we identified that there was a huge, a huge opportunity here with this. So Mexican spirits is continues to be the fastest growing um, category in the spirits industry, and Satol specifically is one that we identified was a huge. There's a huge opportunity, a huge void that had not really made its way outside of Mexico into any other markets, especially the U.S. Mm -hmm. Nice. And so, you know, primarily you guys are in North America, uh, but where do we find you both in North America and outside of there? So we've been able to have great expansion throughout North America, throughout the U U.S. market, which is obviously a huge focus, Canada, Mexico as well. And then moving into 2024 of Q1, we're really excited to announce um, expansion into Asia as well as Europe. Awesome. And then from a growth perspective, just in general, kind of what's your guys' strategy go to market moving forward as you continue to disrupt this segment? So this is really not just about a label of Los Magos. It's also about the, um, the category of Sotol and the ability to be the flagship brand and to build an industry, an industry that has otherwise you know, been primarily just operated by small families. And so you know, Los Magos's goal has been to introduce this incredible spirit that has been around, um, but introduce it to the world. So we're excited to, to be a big part of that. So let's talk about that. Promotions, events, anything coming up? What should we know about Los Magos in the future? So we were excited that back in June, we, um, we had this incredible partnership that we did with Whistlepig, where mm -hmm. we, um, we did a collaboration with them, which was, which was tremendously exciting for us as a brand, but also for the category. Um, we aged Los Magos in some Whistlepig barrels. And so we have something else that's very exciting that's gonna be coming out in the first part of this coming year. Um, and so there'll be a lot of uh, uh, things to stay, uh, Stay tuned in to, uh, as it relates to uh, this, uh, everything surrounding the, the promotion and, <laughs> and whatnot of that, but um, okay. more to come on that. Awesome, we'll look forward to that yeah, for sure. Yeah, we'll look forward <laughs> to that. So thank you so much, Ryan, for coming in. Thank you for having me. Uh -huh. Homeowners, it's time to earn up to 30% more income on your vacation rental property and say goodbye to endless rental headaches. Maximize your profitability and time when you partner with The Compass Collection. Our sophisticated approach to bookings, marketing, and revenue management is focused on delivering the ultimate level of service and success. Let us change the way you rent and unlock the full earnings potential of your property. Contact us today for your free home revenue projection at thecompasscollection.com. Surf Air Mobility is a Los Angeles-based regional air mobility platform expanding the category of regional air travel to reinvent flying through electrification. So with me is the CEO, Stan Little, and founder, Sudin Shahani, um, to explain the company. And congratulations on your recent listing here Thank at you, the Jane. New York Stock Exchange. Great to be so, back at the exchange. Yeah. So tell me about Surf Air. What is it that the company does? So we're a regional air mobility platform that provides both on-demand and scheduled air service to about a half million passengers a year. And we're making electric airplanes. So it will be within the next three years or so that we'll be flying these passengers point to point, not through major hubs, on electric aircraft. Okay, who are your main customers, would you say? You know, that's the great thing about what we do. We're an affordable platform, so this is not taking the top two or three percent like okay. most charter has traditionally Ooh. been. This is, this is for everybody. Okay. Uh, we have tickets that range from $99 on up. Yeah. Okay. So leisure and business and everything. Leisure so, and business, yeah. whatever you, yeah. whatever your needs are regionally. Okay. Got it. So, uh, so then, electric planes. Why? Why does that matter? 
So, Jane, most importantly, I think if you can make smaller planes electric, you make them affordable to a much bigger audience. Um, unlike cars, with planes, electrification actually reduces cost, which creates a lot more opportunity for it, a lot more routes. You know, here in the US alone, we have 5,000 airports that smaller planes can use, where in contrast, airlines use 30 airports for close to 70% of their traffic. So smaller, more affordable aircraft and bringing the cost per seat of small planes down to a similar cost per seat, ideally as large planes today, creates the opportunity to build a huge regional transport network. Yeah, uh, interesting because there are a lot of these smaller airports, as you mentioned, and a lot of the bigger airlines are kind of abandoning them, so they're there and ready to go. Well, you need pilots. Well, absolutely, we'll need pilots. Okay. We're, not, we're not talking about we're not unmanned aircraft. Yet. We're not okay. autonomous. Yeah. Uh, but, and, you know, there's a lot of talk right now about the pilot shortage that's, really that's out there. Yeah. But we are one of the largest creators of pilots in the country rather than a consumer of pilots. Mm. So we bring in a new class of pilots every single month. Uh, we train pilots. We then graduate pilots from us up to the major carriers. Yeah. Oh, interesting. And what about uh, the like VTOL has gotten a lot of an E VTOL, like vertical takeoff and landing vehicles. Um, how do you fit into that ecosystem and electric drones and, and like everything we're seeing? It's very innovative space right now. So, mm -hmm. if you look at what we're doing, we're doing something that we're focused on speed to market and being able to make the biggest impact in the shortest amount of time. So, we're actually taking existing aircraft types, fixed wing aircraft, the first one being an airplane called the Cessna Caravan, and creating electrified powertrains for it, both an electric version and a hybrid electric version. The importance of the hybrid electric version is you won't actually need charging stations on the ground. Um, and we'll be able to deploy it across our existing fleet today. Uh, EVTOL, uh, vertical takeoff and landing, essentially electric helicopters, is really interesting and compelling technology. It likely has a longer path to market because you have to create a whole new aircraft as opposed to just a new powertrain. And also to make those aircraft commercially viable and to deploy them at scale, there's a lot of infrastructure on the ground that needs to be established. Um, they're largely focused on urban air mobility, kind of 50 miles and less broadly. Um, we're focused on regional, where all of the airports exist, mm -hmm. the airplanes exist that you can convert over to electric and reduce cost. Uh, and there are routes that people are already flying today. Yeah. Well, best of luck. So interesting to hear about the company and all the innovation really is going on in this industry. So it's it really is a lot ahead. of changes coming yeah. up ahead, and we want to be the first movers. Well, thank you so much. Thank you, Jane. Yeah, thank, thank you, Jane. Uh -huh. Homeowners, it's time to earn up to 30% more income on your vacation rental property and say goodbye to endless rental headaches. Maximize your profitability and time when you partner with The Compass Collection. Our sophisticated approach to bookings, marketing, and revenue management is focused on delivering the ultimate level of service and success. Let us change the way you rent and unlock the full earnings potential of your property. Contact us today for your free home revenue projection at thecompasscollection.com. Lameness issues, joint pain, and osteoarthritis can be difficult to treat and debilitating for an animal's health and well-being. Take control of lameness issues and joint pain. Introducing Spring with OsteoCushion technology. With just one injection, Spring with OsteoCushion technology targets the root cause of lameness issues, joint pain, and osteoarthritis, helping animals do what they do best. IR Labs brings both private and public company experience in a broad range of industries and areas of expertise, including investor relations, corporate communications, corporate governance as well. And with me is Caroline Sawamoto, principal and co-founder, and Alyssa Berry, principal and co-founder, to explain more about IR Labs. So let's start with that. Kind of lay the groundwork for me. Uh, describe the company. What sets you apart from some other similar businesses in this industry? Well, Jane, thanks so much for having us here. Really appreciate the opportunity. 
Uh, Caroline and I have spent our entire careers in the public markets, primarily in-house investor relations. Uh, so we both have experience as in-house IROs working in Canada and the U.S., and I think having that training ground has been really helpful in the development of our own agency. And we are full service, which is actually quite unique in the investor relations space. Uh, and full service for us means really whatever our clients need uh, to help ensure that they're successful. Um, and we will do everything from writing their press releases, coordinating all of their media relations, road shows, investor days, and even coaching our CEOs um, we've been very fortunate to take about 15 companies public over the last couple of years. And as part of that experience, you know, we've been able to help our CEOs who are great entrepreneurs, great visionaries, but perhaps they've never navigated the capital markets before. So we come in and help them through that journey. It's definitely multifaceted. And uh, there's, um, we, we love when we can actually get in and develop a very strategic plan with our clients. Um, we actually combine a lot of, I'll say, sort of new age IR, where we're using digital strategies, leveraging social media, being able to have interviews such as, as this one uh, to be able to be disseminated in, in many different channels. Uh, we're working with our clients both on institutional and retail strategies. We've developed uh, a very uh, broad um, uh, number of relationships in the retail investor community as well, uh, which is one of our core competencies. Um, and uh, of course, all the institutional outreach that we do. Um, so really, it's a combination of roadshows and, and social and uh, really great media coverage that helps our clients succeed. And that really helps them build a narrative about their, their company. I mean, how do you help them articulate that? I, I know so many people are great at what they do, but maybe they can't, you know, articulate this narrative that they have about the business. How do you help them do that? We do some media training with uh, a lot of our clients because, yeah, we want to make sure that they tell their story and, you know, their unique story. Why did they start this company? Why did they build it? You know, how is this going to help solve the world's problem, right? So we really try to dig deep into their story uh, to help them uh, tell their story better to the investors. Yeah. And that helps them compete better in the exactly. financial markets, which is very competitive. Um, how does your firm measure success? Measuring success is a challenge and it's very uh, broad. So a lot of what we do, especially in the investor relations space, stock price performance and volume, liquidity, that's, that's a huge part of it. Um, but on top of that, um, you know, the quality of investor meetings uh, is critical. Uh, we, we feel really proud of the relationships that we have in our network, um, the media coverage that we're able to achieve for our clients, whether that's top tier media or being able to get their stories in trade publications or industry publications. And we do a really good job of sitting down with our clients and understanding what is success for them. And success can change, especially in the public markets on a really day by day basis. Uh, so we have really great lines into our clients, sitting down with them uh, regularly, understanding what are the priorities, and then building our IR program to match that. Yeah, yeah. We but also, uh, yeah, we also do investor. Um, on top of the investor outreach, we also do analyst outreach um, during our program because you know you want to make sure that your story gets in front of these analysts and uh, in the hopes that they will cover you one day. So that's important for us too. So the more analysts that cover you, the more uh, that you can um, tell your story to the investment community. So um, we also listen to investor feedback, right? So we do a lot of um, tracking, sitting down with investors, listening, okay, what's worked, what hasn't worked, and what would you like to see from the company? So there is that investor sentiment as well that we track. Wow. Well, you provide a, a very important service in the whole financial communications industry. And I'm really looking forward to doing more work with you and having you come to New York so we can get you in the studio. So that'd be great. Thank you, you as so well. Much. Thank you. Caroline thank thank you, Jane. Thanks. Your data is vulnerable to hackers, with email being the cause of 91% of all cyber attacks. Introducing secure, Swiss-hosted, data mine free private and secure solutions to protect your communications. Secure Mail offers secure and private email communication. 
Secure Messenger offers private and secure chats. Secure VPN encrypts your internet traffic and protects your digital identity. Regain your privacy today. Visit Secure at secure.com. Hi, everyone. Welcome to your Secure Privacy and Security segment. I'm Anna Berry, along with Ellen Guy, the CEO of Secure. All right, the weekly hack is talking Vegas. I'm sure you heard the news of the casino hack, MGM, Caesars. I've stayed at both, both places. Luckily, it was not when they were hacked. So the issue, Elaine, I want you to talk a little bit about is the FBI is still struggling to basically find this group of casino hacking guys. It's an actual gang. They're based in the U.S. and they still haven't been arrested. So give us an update of what's going on and why we should be weary of stuff like this. Well, I leave the authorities to do their job and I won't comment on that because they got quite a lot of work on their shoulders. What's important to know is that casino database is like the treasure trove. It's the holy grail because it's people that literally have money to spend, to throw away and to gamble. That's the nature of the business. Interestingly enough, I stayed in Singapore a few years ago. Uh, it's the Sands Hotel or something. I forgot the name, but it's got that pool on the roof. And I received a few days ago an email from them. I mean, this was back in before 2019 even, and their database got hacked and my account has been compromised. So name, email address, everything. So this was before 2019. That's about almost four or five years ago. And the database stays. So even if you didn't stay there last month, Anna, you may have gone there two years ago I did. or at some point. Yeah. Your database is there because I didn't even go to the casino. I went to the hotel. Uh, there was a cybersecurity, there was a cloud conference there, and that's what we're exhibiting, and that's how they have my information. So a uh, casino database is extremely valuable. It's a huge target, and as we advance in this tough economic climate, that's the kind of database people want to get. Then they're going to resell it in a dark web and make money from it or hack you and find what kind of credit card and banking info you have. So it's pretty pretty scary. We know that all these enterprises use the same infrastructure, the same email uh, providers. And that's why we actually announced that we launched a brand new system for executive called Secure Relay, which essentially lets, it lets, let's say, MGM use their domain hosted with one of their providers, but the management and the C-level executives can host with us maintaining the same domain so we split the domain into two it's we're the only ones able to do that and then they have the advantage of that secure send secure feature and all that that executives and managers would use for important communication that's one way we can reduce crime and cyber hacking so we're excited about that casinos are a prime target for this because they deal with obviously huge financial transactions Yes, and sometimes you feel helpless because you go to a casino when I went and you have to download these apps in order to get a coffee or room service or go to the pool. And so, so much of your information is out there already. And sometimes we don't really know what we can do at that big level, the corporate level, but what can we do at the consumer level with, between our own information at home and our computers. And that's also, you provide that service of the secure send and reply throughout your email services. So talk a little bit about that because that's something we can adopt right now today on our own. Yeah, that's a great example. You're gonna go to a casino or a hotel and if you're gonna give any kind of information, sometime, I don't know, they need copy of your passport or something, I would use the secure email with secure send, secure reply, which essentially lets you transact with anybody outside of secure. And the whole communication happens only in our servers in Switzerland. So the other person doesn't need to have secure. They can just click on a link, they, they, they get in, they read your email and they use secure reply. You can also attach a ton of attachments. That's one way. You should have several email 
a general email that is, you know, throwable emails, we call it. We even offer that for consumer. We offer, I think, two aliases. Uh, so two throwable emails that you can use at any time and then delete it and recreate another email. That's free with your account. So I would, re I would use that. I would recommend doing that. And then you have your main email, which is for more private communication, your medical info, your real estate. Maybe you're going to refinance your home or, or do anything or travel. And when they need your social security number I and mean, whatever, you know, that's what I would use for secure. And one more step for privacy is the VPN. Talk about your recent launch of this VPN and then how people can start to adopt these services into their everyday lives. Yeah, the VPN is great. The VPN essentially puts you in a stealth mode. You're essentially in Switzerland. I should mention that we never require your phone number when you download our application. We even have a secure messenger and basically it, it doesn't require you to put your phone number. So that's huge. And not having a phone number out there, letting everybody know what you're using, having the VPN making you look like you're in Switzerland, uh, because in Swiss law, the IP address is your private property. And it's illegal for us to even uh, sell it or whatever. So we don't data mine you. So okay. get the VPN and get the email combo. It's affordable. And you know we do offer a promo code as well with a 15% discount. Uh, and it's privacy. The promo code is privacy. There you go. Well, privacy has arrived with Secure. Great speaking with you, Elaine, and we'll see you next week for another topic of the weekly hack. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, everyone, and be very careful, especially these days. Absolutely. Mm -hmm.